Hi kids, in today's chapter 9 of our general knowledge book, we are going to learn about cleanliness. So kids, the concept of cleanliness is really basic in our religion Islam as well. In our daily lives, we are supposed to have cleanliness in our lives when it comes to our body, when it comes to our surroundings, in our home, specifically our room, everything should be neat and clean. It is also the basic concept of our religion as well. So let's start reading the chapter. Keeping ourselves clean is called cleanliness. So first of all, we get the definition or concept. What cleanliness is that to keep oneself clean is called cleanliness. We wash our hands with soap. We keep our clothes clean. We brush our teeth daily to keep them clean. We comb our hair to keep them clean. We should take a bath daily. We get rid of dirt from nails by trimming them. So these are some of the ways cleanliness can be done. Starting from the hands that we are supposed to wash our hands with soap. We, are, we also wash our clothes. That keeps us clean. We need to brush our teeth daily to keep them clean. We are supposed to comb our hairs so that we look clean and tidy. We should take a bath daily. It is also a form of cleanliness. More specifically, we get rid of dirt from nails by trimming them. It is very much important kids to trim your nails whenever you feel that they are a bit larger or have some dirt in it. We should also keep our homes and surrounding clean. So this, this is something what we were talking in the beginning of the chapter that cleanliness is not only washing your face, hands, taking bath, but it is also about keeping yourself, your home, your room and your surrounding clean. If we do not keep ourselves clean, we will become ill. So the bad factor is that if cleanliness is not there with us, if you are not clean, neat, tidy, if we, are, if we are not groomed enough, if our if our room is not if our room is not properly clean and neat, then then more chances are there to be ill or sick. And as we all know that the recent wave, if we have good health, we will take interest in our studies. So the best part is that cleanliness allows us to be more attentive, healthy, and and in return of it, we will become more attentive and active and we will take more interest in our studies. So, few basic concepts have been illustrated here using some pictures. Brushing teeth, wearing neat and clean clothes, trimming nails, combing our hair. So, these are four basic things of cleanliness that is very much required to be more active, healthy, hygienic, clean, tidy, and fresh. So kids, in chapter number 9, we learned about cleanliness, that it is about keeping yourself clean. And when we say keeping yourself clean, it does not only mean that we need to wash our hands, face, we brush our, we brush our teeth, we comb our hairs only, but we are supposed, here it is given, a very important concept that we are supposed to keep our homes and surrounding clean. So we are supposed to first of all start from our own body that we need to clean ourselves. Then we should move to our room, home and surrounding. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll be back with some more exciting videos and its activity in my next video. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.